ma'am you can begin hello everyone good evening and once again i am live with you to with uh, one another uh, app i'm so sorry just a second please yep good evening everyone so uh, today i'll be teaching you uh, about google jamboard so before going ahead let me introduce myself I am Mrs. Panna Gandhi, uh, edu leader and uh, founder and leader of GEG Surat, working as a vice principal in one of the CBSE schools at Surat. I have into I have been into teaching since twenty eight years, and um, of course, this is this journey of teaching and learning has been great. After getting connected with Mahatatva and GEGs, so uh, this pandemic, uh, I would. Uh, i would like to uh, say that of course the uh, pandemic has been a great boon to me because this have forced me to learn something as i think it may must be with you all as well so it has helped me to learn something new and uh, develop my skills and knowledge with google apps and uh, many more things into teaching and learning so let's go ahead I'll start sharing my screen. Okay. Uh, is my uh, screen visible, ma'am? Oh uh, no, ma'am. It got disappeared. Can share again. Okay. Just a minute. Is it visible now? No, ma'am, not yet. I think something. Okay. Is it visible now to everyone? Fine. Thank you. Okay, so uh, hi everyone. So this is uh, Jamboard, wherein I will show you the various things. First, let me take to you what is Jamboard. So it's a platform. I have already introduced myself. It's a platform of interaction with Google by, which is a wonderful app by Google, which helps us to uh, engage with students asynchronously and synchronously in both the ways. So we are going to learn about Jamboard, how to get to Jamboard tools and functions, examples of Jamboard activities, how to share Jamboard with students, using Jam for fun and simple games, assign Jam in Google Classroom, using it as a starter of any lesson, Jamboard interactive notebook examples, creating an animated background, using it as a digital teacher whiteboard in Google Meet, and finally, if there are any Q&As. So first step to go to Jamboard is how to go to Jamboard. So when you go, when you click on your drive or on your Google interface, you have this nine dots called waffle. So once you click on this and scroll down, you have here Jamboard. And if you click on that, you will have Jamboard. Another way to go is you can type jamboard.google.com. Type Jamboard 
jam.google.com you have your interface with all of the jams which all which you have created till now so this is the recent one the last one which is already there and i have already opened it so this is my jam board each jam board has 20 frames this this is called a frame so this if you click, as I showed you, if you click on this Jamboard, your Jamboard opens up. And why should we use this Jamboard? To use a digital as a whiteboard, to write and draw, to ser uh, search Google and insert images and annotate them. You can drag and resize the text and images with your fingers. You can sketch a box, start, cat, or dragon, whatever you want. You can draw that, you can sketch that. Image recognition technology converts your sketch into polished image. You can share images with people up to 25. So uh, at a time, if you want to share your Jamboard, you can share uh, share with only 25 people, not more than that. But then still, it is a very collaborative uh, app or a tool if, which is uh, which is very useful for us as teachers to engage with students. Then you can have fun activities. You can have brainstorming activities. You can ha use Jamboard as a formative assessment and many more things. So as I said, the third process of going at Jamboard is you can go through your drive and click on new. So that also I will show you. If you go on drive, if you click on new, if you click on more, here, there are options of Google Jamboard. And from here also, you can go to your Jam. <clears throat> so now I will go, take you to the features of Jamboard. So as I said, this entire screen is called a frame. This is called Jam. This is my demo slide. And this is called a frame, which has 20 frames. Now, if you click on, there are various tools. Let me first introduce to it, and then I will show you. So the various tools are, you have, you can set your diagram, uh, sorry, set your background as what kind of frame you want. You can navigate it with uh, your frames, with a first, session, first frame or last frame, whatever you want to. You can have it, um, you can uh, share it with uh, other collaborators, as I said before. Then you have the tools, which are the suspend tool, eraser. You have a sticky note. You can add images. You can add shapes. You can add text. And you can use laser pointer as well to show or present something when you are in your jam. So let me just demonstrate you. So as I said, pen. Once you click on this pen, you have various color pens. You can choose it as a highlighter. You can use it to brush to paint anything you can use it as a marker and this is the pen to write if i use any color and i can just write here hi so i can use it as a pen i can use it as a highlighter if and that also whatever color i want i can use it as a highlighter and circle and present while explaining something to the students i can um, demonstrate a particular thing which i want to show them and present them to understand that this is uh, something important i can also use brush that i'll show you later i can erase it if i want i can erase it i can just click on it and i can erase it whatever i want if i use clear frame then also whatever things are there, I can just remove it. Now, if you have noticed on this frame, though I clicked on clear frame, everything what was presented on my frame had gone away, but still this picture is there. So I will talk to you about this thing later. Then you can use your sticky note as I had presented. Once you click on your sticky note, you can type. Hello, everyone. You can change the background of the color of your sticky note as you feel. You can then save it. And your sticky note is saved as a 
note here. You can drag and drop your note wherever you want. You can put it. You can also rotate. When you can see this arrow at the corner. If you take this, you can rotate your in 360 degree. You can rotate your sticky note and you can put it wherever you want. You can drag your sticky note as you want to make it bigger or smaller. You can duplicate your note and you can delete it as well. So if you, if you want to make a duplicate, it's a duplicate note here. Again, I have rotated. And suppose I want this as I want to edit it. So once again, I can edit my And I can change the background color and I can use it. So the same has been changed into this. So I can use this no, sticky note as many as I want. So this is a wonderful tool which helps students to engage with you in your online classes as well. So you can ask them. To, uh, when you, uh, if there is an activity, if you want them to brainstorm on certain idea or certain uh, a certain concept which you are talking about or your while you are teaching, you can ask them what is there in your in their mind. Check their understanding by using the sticky notes. I will give you more examples later as well. You can insert images from there. So when you click on this image, you can upload it from your browser that is your desktop by URL. You can click a cam photo from camera and you can search it from Google Images. You can take it from your drive and from your photos as well. So if, if suppose I want to use it by camera, then of course you have to allow it. And you can just see here, you can click it, insert it. And you can see my photograph is here. So similarly, if you uh, want to give give your jam a, a, a feeling of uh, more uh, connecting towards people, you can add your photo photo frame as well. Of course, and this jam board is not only used in your classroom; you can use it in your personal. Uh, chats also with your families and friends if you want to celebrate something you can use it that also as well so next as i said you can you can search images directly from here and you can type any image if you want if you want an image of um of, of some GIF for girls, suppose. So I can get here so many things, some gifts I can. So gifts are here. Sorry, it was gift. I want a GIF. So here are so many gifts are there, which I can use it. And further, I can just click on it. and insert and the image will appear on my screen on my frame on my jam and i can decrease the size i can increase the size i can rotate it i can put it wherever i want drag and drop wherever i want i can also choose different types of shapes once i click on this i have shapes like circle square triangle and many more so if i want to give an activity as a drawing teacher if i want or any any if i want to give an activity to the students to color something i can just use some shapes and put it here i can increase the size i can use another shape a square I want it in this manner and this then 
Uh, okay. I want to use this one. I can scroll it, to rotate it, use it. So this is how I, I have drawn a house. So such activities you can give the, your students as well. And once you click on this, you can ask them to fill in with the colors as well. And it would become a wonderful thing. So students can use different colors and make your uh, make the activity more uh, colorful and uh, um, creative. So you can use your own ideas to use this. You can also add a text box. Once you click on this, you have a text box here, which you can just wrote, uh, use however you want. You can put it here and I want to edit it so I can write here. Okay. How, how are you? And I can select it. I can also display this as a display. So the font will increase. I can use it as a title or I can use it as a, so whatever way you want now, normal or as a caption. I can also use the color text. I can use my text in the color form. I can align it in the center and I can align it at this side also. Of course, there are not much options like you have in Google Docs, but then you have still enough options which you can use it. And you can just drag and drop your thing wherever you want. You can also use this highlighter laser and just you can point out while explaining something. So you can just circle it or you can pinpoint something while explaining to the students. And I, I, I will also give you at the, uh, at the end uh, some links which will be very useful to you. So you can highlight, use this as a highlighter, which all uh, goes away when you demonstrate something. So this is over. Now I will take you with many examples. So let me just go back. And so I should talk to you, uh, I showed you about the tools and the functions of the Jamboard. Now let's go to some examples of Jamboard activities. So there are various activities which you can use it. You can okay. Fine. So I can use my frame as a set frame and I can give them, give students for uh, what whatever activities I want. This is an activity which uh, for a story time wherein you can give, ask them uh, after uh, teaching a story or after discussing a lesson, which is like a story, you can ask them for that, what were the story elements? Or you can ask them who were the characters in that? When did the story happen? Where did the story take place, what happened, and why did it happen? So you can put in various questions. And this students will not be able to change because I have set this as an image, as a frame. Now, how you can do this? So I will take you there. I will show you how you can do this. I have set this as my background. Now, how you can do this, that I will show you. So let me first show a few of the activities which you can do. So this is one activity for language teachers. Another activity again is a structure diagram with the plot. Same similarly, if there is a chapter or a, less, a, a story which you have taught, 
you can for elder students you can ask them what was the exposition what was the rising action what was the climax falling action and resolution so what students can do is they can take the sticky notes and annotate or use whatever you they want and of course write their uh, book title as well and place it uh, wherever they want so here they can write the title use the sticky note now you might be thinking that if this is used in your uh, use it as a um, online tool how you can use it so that i will show you afterwards let me first take uh, show you the few of the examples of the activities which we can do it one more example is again story sequencing of course you might be thinking why uh, only english because i am an english teacher i am showing you some of the uh, examples uh, which we can use as an english teacher for our esl students so story sequencing this is also set as a background one more is about classroom as a ticket wherein you can after any uh, topic you have uh, taught in the uh, in the classroom you can just take this as a, set this as a background and share it with your students and ask them to fill in that what were the best things which they uh, like to best today what they have learned what was the most important thing i learned today then i uh, the thing i am excited with and something i can do better tomorrow so it's a reflection sort of thing which you which can be used as an exit ticket at the end of the chapter or your end of your class now how can you make this digital frame let me show you first that so let me take you to a new jam so the, when so click on this arrow i have all my gems here which are there and i can dr drag that and arrange it if i want in another way as well i can take it take this and put it here so as a, when wherever i or however i want i can arrange my jams and make the display now let me show you how we can set this diagram so just let me show you add a frame here and take this one a new jam now how can i set a diagram so once you click on this you have for math teachers you have square lines with blue color you have you can set it as a dark graph also you can set it as your blue board you can set it as your black board of course the free version if you are using uh, google then you have limited colors if you are using uh, google workspace then you have more colors as well you have green board uh, as well in this but how you can set as a green board that also i will tell, teach you in the, the, you can use ruled sheet also you can use it as a blank sheet also and if you want to see the amazing thing which is recently updated by jamboard by google in jamboard by google is about this image how can you set your frame with your selected image so once you click on this again you have similar options as i showed you when you while inserting the image so i have already downloaded some image from various places i will show you from there and i can just click on that and these are my various images which i want to and as i said i can just click on that click on open and now this has changed my uh, changed my frame as my background so now students won't be able to change anything they can just use the sticky notes and type here and put it there uh, according to their understanding now how you can do this so you can use this by using canva and slide mania as well i will show you one of the examples of canva if you go to canva.com
Okay. So once you go to Canva and if you go on templates or if you type here online okay, Jamboard backgrounds, if I write here. So I can get whatever backgrounds I want. I can choose them and I can set them however I want. I can annotate this. I can ch change this according to my uh, needs. So this is a mind map which is there. If I want to delete anything, I can delete it by clicking on it and it goes away. I can use after completing, uh, I can use however I want. I can create my own by using elements and many more things. And then I can download it in the form of, this is a GIF. So it is available in the MP4 video. So once I click on that and I can, I can click on GIF and then go on download and it will be downloaded on my desktop. And then I can use this as a frame which I showed you before. Okay, I will not wait for this. It takes a bit time. So similarly, you, you can go to slide mania as well. And if you go to education and interactive, sorry, notebook styles. Okay, so that image has been downloaded now. So if I go to interactive templates, okay, notebook style. And here you have different, different sort of sli uh, slides which you can use it. In, as a PPT form or in your Google Slides. So that I will not go much in detail. I will share the links and you can go and explore it. Now let me show you how. Okay. So <clears throat> another activity which I would like to show you is the Jamboard activity. Now this so now Diwali is coming, so you all must be preparing for some Diwali assignments to share with your students. So this is one of the example which I have created using uh, Slide Mania. So first, if you are using from Slide Mania, you have to go and create it in your uh, slide deck and then go and choose your slide deck as, just a minute, I'll show you from one of the slides how you can do it. So you can just click on your slide and download it in the form of a jpg image and set choose again that image into your jamboard and set it as a So suppose I want this one to set as my background. So once you put your cursor there, select it, go to file, and then download it as a PNG or JPG image, you can download it. So similarly, as I said, first you can use that slide mania slides into your slide deck and change according to you what you want. Sorry. You can download it. Go to your jam. You can set it as your background. Choose this image. You can draw, drag and drop it. And your jam will be set with the frame you want. Can you see this? So this is how you can use it as a background. So this is the example for 
your uh, assignment which you can give in your Google Classroom. Now, how you can share this? So, so this is my assignment. So what I will do is I will go to my Google Classroom, go to Classwork, create an assignment, click Assignment. And this is on my Drive. I can choose that. I can use it as a link also or I can choose it from the drive. And if I go on recent, and here it is my jam, okay? Now, another way, which I said, using a link. So once I click on this link, I can go here, click on share button, So first you uh, thing you need to change is you can change anyone on the internet with this link and edit. So that you have to do. You can also use your, um, if you have the list of your students' names which you are there, which already is there with you, you can just attach those email IDs, then it will be more uh, professional and you can see all the students uh, uh, name when you uh, see uh, when you share with them otherwise it would come as anonymous so it is a better idea to use it with your um, email with your students email ids so as i said you can go on this click on link copy the link just a minute yeah anyone with the link can edit Copy link, done, go to your classroom, paste that link here, add link. And now your jam is already here with them, with the students. So you can then, if you want your students to make a copy, as I said, it is a Diwali homework. So you can just click on make copy of your, uh, of, for each student. So this will go and it will be assigned to your students. You can give the title respectively and everything that you know how you can do it in your uh, Google Jamboard. And then you can click on Assign. OK, just a minute. OK. I have not given the title. That's why Diwali assignment. And then you can assign to the students, whoever you, you have. And it will go to your children. And this is how you can share your any of your jams with them. Now, another thing which I would like to show you is, so I showed you how to share jam mode with your students, how to use jam for simple and uh, um, fun activities, as I showed you. You can use it as your uh, math classroom using any uh, board, um, uh, uh, game board. You can also use your sticky notes like this and uh, write some numbers, 35. Plus 12 is equal to dash and save. And can just make it bigger. And you can ask your students to use any of the text boxes or sticky notes and type their answers here. So as I said, if you want to just make this as a blank space for students to uh, solve this in your live classes or from Google Meet, how you can use it, that also I will show you. So what you can do is you can, uh, as I said, you can just uh, put a sticky note, go to these three dots, save this frame as image, So it will be saved on your desktop. Then clear frame, set, uh, set background, drag and drop, which you have recently made. 
and your frame is set. So now what happens is now students won't be able to touch your problem or your sum which you have uh, put here and then they can use their own sticky notes and solve the answers accordingly, right? So this is how you can do it. You can give this in your live classes also in your Google Meet. So that I will show you how. Let me just take to you there just a minute. So if I am on my Google Meet, The meeting. <coughs> so So you can put your jam link here in your chat box. You can, you also have here the whiteboard. So this is nothing else, uh, but it is also a type of jam board which you can use it. So as I said, you can paste your link, copy your link from here, copy the link. paste it into the chat box and send it to your students and students will open and they can solve this. So this is how you can use your Jamboard in your live classes also with Google Meet as well. Okay. So another thing which you can do is, as I showed you, assign Jam in Google Classroom that I've already shown. Use it as a starter of the lesson. So some brainstorm activities you can do. Jamboard interactive notebook example. I have shown you how you can do it. So you can create, as I said, you can create these various pages. OK, so this is one page. Suppose, uh, as I said, Diwali homework. So I will go to next page, set background image. From the browse, I will show you a few of the examples so you can understand. So as I said, see, interactive notebook, how I can make is, this is my first page of the notebook wherein students can write their name, roll number, and date. And then they can just write on Monday what they did. They can, they can write the topic of their name, uh, of, uh, of the thing which they have done. Uh, and in my uh, thing, they have the assignments with reading, writing. And if it is if I am a class teacher of uh, uh, some primary section, then of course I would be teaching all the subjects. So I can give math homework also. So I can. So students, what they can do is they can tick, use this pen tool. <coughs> use this pen tool. Use the selected color, and tick in the box, whatever they have done. So you can see how it is. And as I said, you can share this complete uh, uh, frame with uh, uh, like a notebook in Google Classroom with different pages. And the thing will be there in the classroom. So as I said, this demo, I will show you. This jam is not just one page. It is the entire page. Let me click here and show you that the complete Jamboard 
um, all the frames are there with shared with the students so you can create there are 20 pages so you can create a notebook of 20 pages or 10 pages as you want and give them the activity for your um, vacation or of or any any activity like uh, in a asynchronous way or a synchronous way or however you want so you can see the entire jam is shared with them entire it's not only one frame entire uh, all the frames are uh, shared with them when you share it via google classroom now creating an animated background so how you can do that use it using as a digital whiteboard i said i showed you already in your google meet how you can do this <coughs> now creating your animated background so this is the example of my animated background which i have already used it Now, how you can do this? So what you can go do is you can just <clears throat> go here. You can find directly from Google search and download any of the GIF images which you want. So uh, like uh, animated GIF Im images. And you get images, uh, the number of images you want and however you want. So these are all animated images. I have already downloaded one of the image. I can set it as a uh, as my background from here. So click on this. Okay. Brown. Sorry, open. And this is my animated image. I can set this as a background and student can use, students can use uh, sticky notes and write their feelings, what they feel about your, in your classroom. So this is something which creates a, a more fun towards your a fun element in your teaching and students get excited when they see such things in their classroom. Sorry. So I guess I have covered everything. Yeah, I guess. So yes. You can create infographics, as I said. You can use this Jamboard as your formative assessment as well and give students with using uh, sticky notes. So are there any questions now for them? For your, for just a minute. OK. So, ma'am, any questions till now? Any questions from uh, audience? Okay. So then, I would like to sh share this jam with you. No chat box, ma'am. Can you please share this with the audience and they can just uh, type in what was their learning today? You can share it with the audience. So I will stop sharing my screen and if there are
got any questions please uh, let me know uh yes ma'am you can uh, share it with only 25 students so that is the limitation uh in google meet as well and uh, even uh, stream uh, this uh, jam board also with only 25 people because uh, it is not shared with more than them so what what you can do is uh, you can uh, make one jam and share it with 25 people and then similar you can uh, make with uh, uh, another uh, jam, uh, jam a new jam and then share it with 25 people so this is how you can manage your uh, task with your students and then uh, it will be i think possible so you can go with that and that would be a possible thing which i guess would work out for you any other questions sir So any other questions by writing with white pen on black ground gives a poor feeling of blackboard <laughs> yeah <laughs> of course so that's why they have given uh, multi colors also they uh, you can use your uh, green board also using canva so you can uh, choose a green board from canva which is very useful and uh, that can be uh, set as your frame in your jam board and then that can be done so what you have learnt if you can share i will be very helpful uh, happy to know your learnings on my this chamber which i have already shared with you all in the form of a link so ma'am you have shared with everyone the link can you please share the link ma'am I I just shared it, ma'am. Hello. Uh, hello, ma'am. I have just shared it. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. So, um, dear friends, uh, if you can, yeah. Oh, thanks. Wonderful. So people have started joining, and you can share one uh, learning which you have learned from uh, my uh, session today. and uh, if there are any questions you can put uh, use the sticky note and uh, put those questions as well in on this jam board yes ma'am you can use the uh, sticky notes you can take the sticky notes from here and use it let me share my screen once again to you so that you can see people you all have put on something i think you can see my screen now yeah so i have four five people joined here you can use your sticky notes are you able to uh, uh, ma'am is there any problem with uh, anyone with the link um i'm not that i see any comments so they are able to use it right i think so otherwise uh, we could have had some comments yeah if anybody is having any trouble using the jamboard please write in the comment box so it can be corrected yeah and uh, you can share the links uh, of the resources ma'am which can, which will be very helpful for the audience sure. i'll just i'll just share that.
i hope you all have uh, must have enjoyed my session and learned something from me at least so the here are some uh, useful resources which you can use uh, them for your uh, jamboard activities so there are examples of templates and acti other activities as well which are free so you can use them okay so okay you have used it on frame 14 let me check it oh wonderful very nice ma'am beautiful yeah thank you i thought you uh, i was waiting actually for uh, on that frame if there are any learnings so i couldn't recognize beautiful amazing yeah anyone else you can use the sticky note and share your learnings on this page what you like the most from my session today's session okay so still so have a nice day have a great day everyone this is the end of my session and thank you everyone and please give me the feedback your valuable feedback is really helpful for me to uh, go ahead with you with my journey um ma'am can you share the feedback link please ma'am i've shared the feedback link thank you everyone i would really request you to fill the feedback form for ms panna gandhi and her journey towards being a gg with me though Thank you everyone have a nice day